Welcome. Welcome. Uh, we've been banned from using cups and cutlery, but we always prefer big jugs anyway, don't we? Yeah. Uh, so another busy day as the housemates spunk 30% of their shopping budget on extensions, dance to the Macarena for two hours, and Jem finally lives up to expectations and goes to battle with her cellulite. <laughs> That's a very good laugh you've got. Uh, but what else have we noticed? Well, Secretary General to the United Nations, Ban Ki-moon, today contacted Big Brother for permission to speak to a den with a view to flying him to the Middle East as a special envoy. To be the peacemaker again. Basically, I think we'll all prosper more if we kind of tear down these barriers kind of thing. We all can live in harmony, because at the end of the day, Big Brother's hard enough as it is, without people trying to do tit for tat and all that kind of shit. I just thought it would be nice if we all got like a civil, civil solution to everything, you know what I mean? Civil solution, <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> Love it. Uh, in the interest of balance, Pizza Hut have a two-for-one deal on at the moment. Hey, <laughs> if you set me off right now, I'll buy your dominoes and get out. <laughs> Uh, it looks like the basing shopping budget is working wonders on Louise already. I just had a poo right before it wouldn't stop. Just massive poo after poo after poo after poo. It was like when sausages come out of machine. I was worried. I thought, when's this going to stop? Uh, by the end of the week, we'll be hard-pressed to accuse any of them of being full of shit anymore. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe not Anton. Uh, talking of which, if he is evicted, I'll be thanking my lucky stars that Alice is doing tomorrow night's show. Emma Willis, I just want to go home and see Emma Willis, Emma Willis, Emma Willis. I think he's a little bit, he's getting a little bit obsessed. He's getting a little bit obsessed. Uh, what a line-up tonight is the polite way of putting it. First up, he's so knowledgeable about wrestling, he's even heard of Darcy Steele, the star of Bolton FM's The Luke Marsden Show. Luke Marsden! Yeah! sound like he hails from Erinsborough circa 1986. My next guest is actually an award-winning comedian from Glasgow. It's Des Clark. <laughs> and bringing a much-needed touch of the librarian to proceedings, it's Miss Chic Geek herself, Alice Levine. <laughs> this one this evening, if I'm honest. You all right? I'm fine. Okay, good. Uh, and finally, what she can't do with a bit of bicarb and lemon juice just ain't worth knowing. It's cleaning legend, Kim Woodburn. <laughs> before this man explodes. Uh, Luke, you were in the bungalow um, a few years ago and uh, there was the B-Block crew yeah, yeah, uh, versus yeah. pretty much everybody. Yeah. So how hard is it living with a divide in the house? Ridiculously difficult. Because it's like, you know, you've got one set of idiots and another set of idiots and they don't have the same ideologies and it was really hard. And it, was, it was extremely difficult, especially considering the fact I hated the majority, if not all, of B-Block. So, you know, it's like, can you, especially when we had the, the actual divide, yeah. it was like, can you pass me this? And I was like, well, no. And then they'll go in the bedroom and you stood there waving for 20 minutes and they're laughing at you. It was very awkward, Emma, very awkward. So you just love Luke Marsden. I love him. Uh, Kim, <clears throat> what did you make of Aden's efforts to heal the rift this evening? Well, at least he's trying, isn't he? He is trying, I mean, I know, no, he said, you know, I mean, he put it like it was, but it's falling on 
deaf ears love, isn't it? Yeah, they're, they're not really. I love really... the music behind it. It was so epic. I know. Just... I thought he might cry. Did it it's move like the one you? time he didn't cry. Well, uh, it, it was quite moved. It was yeah. like Tim Westwood delivering Prime Minister's question time. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, now, guys, is Harry taking on the more powerful role in the house? No. No. No? no. Oh, oh, really? No. He's trying. But he's not I working. He's succeeding. No. 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 Why Even not? With the Why not? Exercise was trying to do. What was he doing? Like no. what? Well, well, no. I mean, in a kind of like, you know, him and Jay had the conversation about we should set everyone down and try and Jay kind of raised the situation, but put it past Harry to make sure he was kind of in agreement. No, no, Harry, Harry, person. Harry. The first week, I really wanted him to leave, but I'm so pleased he stayed. He's achieved legendary Big Brother status with the 500 bananas, <laughs> and, <laughs> and his ratings going up every week now. That is big talk from Paul, who knows what he is yeah. talking about. Uh, now, Je uh, Jez? No, Des yeah. and Jay. Claims the love is leaking out of the house. Um, can the problem be fixed? No, I don't think so. I hope not. I, I love hatred. Not as a yes. general concept, yeah. but it makes for more entertaining telly as well. Yeah. And if it means that Arden's going to try more of these speeches, then I'm all for it. Are you liking break down the speeches? The walls. Yeah, I, I love them. I think it's I great. I like to call them addresses. It was yeah. an address. <laughs> well, yeah. I love the way... Like a state of the union. It yeah, was. exactly, yeah. And it was a state. And at, <laughs> at the end of it, he said, do you know what I mean? And we all went, not really. No, no. not a clue. But I appreciate the effort. Um, Alice, what, do you think it was fair of Aaron trying to turn on failing the task to Anton? Aaron's never fair, is he? He's a little snaky little creature. I think he was just trying to deflect it from being his fault and him causing another bit of a stir. Although Anton was being spiteful, wasn't he? He was just being a bit mean. But we expect that from Anton. I think bit. it's as Aden says, tit for tat. Tip, it's just basic Is it tit for tat? Yeah. Tit for tat? It is. But do you know what? Anton needs to stay. Yeah. He yeah. needs yeah. to stay. Yeah. Without Definitely. him, Big Brother is boring. Yeah. Yeah. We need him in a house. What? We, we need him in a house. He, we have to love him. He yeah, is he him. is causing a lot of... Uh, That's what we want. That's no, 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 I know, no, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying, yeah. you know, we, we need a bit of spice in the house yes, and he is bringing do. it. Well, you've yeah. got Arden's tears. So Arden's tears are, are quite, quite funny. No. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> are they? <laughs> Um, how about um, the, the, uh, Jay saying that Faye and Aaron going out is fake and that it's just a ploy to keep them in the house? He's jealous. He's jealous. Now that my girl's ducked him, innit? He's, Are you he's, talking about your girl Jay, being Louise? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Louise. Now that Louise has got rid of him, yeah? He's kind of jealous, so he's thinking, well, you know, it's all fake, and love is fake, and he's kind of... He's disillusioned. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jay's heart. He, he, I do think she messed yeah. with Jay's heart, because Jay was, had more feelings than Louise had for her. Kim, what do you think? Definitely. I think Jay likes her very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's not a man that's going to beg. No, he's not. He's too, <laughs> yeah. no, he's what too about proud. The, what about the Aaron and Faye thing? Well, about being fake Faye's or very not? very fond of I Aaron. Yes. I don't, do you know, I think Aaron's genuinely you know, warming. We don't know Aaron, do we? He's a man of man for all seasons. He's got thirty personalities, so we don't know. We don't know what he's up to. But I know she like Faye likes him. She does. I think she does like him. Yeah. Um, now it seems that the housemates aren't content on taking out their frustrations only on each other. Uh, the soft furnishings are also taking a beating. Jay and now Faye have been given one of the cushions such a hard time, Big Brother has had to step in and remove it to a secret location for its own safety. <laughs> we were allowed some exclusive access. I've been working in the Big Brother house now for a few weeks. Um, well, where can I start? Um, I think I have a right in my workplace to not be harassed in this manner. And things got out of hand. I understand, you know, Jay had a lot of issues and he needed to take it out on something. But I think um, his behaviour a few weeks ago was absolutely intolerable. I was persuaded by Big Brother to stay, um, <laughs> against my best judgement. Uh, and, um, well, it's happened again, isn't it? Uh, Faye um, came to me. Uh, there was no discussion. She just literally assaulted me and <laughs> it, it, I've taken it very badly and it's had a big effect on my family. I've had enough. I simply have had enough and um, I don't mind telling you I have approached a solicitor and I'll be taking things further. Are you better off out of there if you ask me? Uh, Luke, what is the best 
way to vent your anger when you're in there? Um, I personally, Emma, as you know, did not vent it in front of anybody. I did it in the dye room to the audience watching at home because you, you guys really matter. Um, but yeah, verbally, I mean, I would never would have assaulted a cushion. I mean, you know, it's, it's like, well, because you have to lie on the cushion and will it get its phone back? Not if somebody big's been sat on it. Oh, no, no, no offence. Uh, I know, it's just, no, I, no, you know, I just. Do it in the diary room. Do it in the diary room, you know, in the comfort of a nice chair. Kim, you can agree. OK. Uh, if you don't agree. agree with that lot, then get yourself heard. Take part in tonight's poll. All of the details can be found down there. Insert your own euphemism because we are running out. Uh, still to come, Victor makes his return. Yes. Casting his BDI on those warring Palmer sisters. <laughs> Other manipulations and manoeuvrings have taken on a whole new sisterly slant. Who better to dissect all the latest goings on than the nation's number one shit stirrer? <laughs> Please welcome reality television's premier feces agitator. It's Victor. <laughs> Good to be back. So, uh, it's been another busy week for Shitstone in the house, hasn't it? It has, and my man Anton's been right on top of it. I oh, want him oh, to stay. Oh, oh. I like him. Yeah. There you go. Just clearing up all those Twitter rounds, aren't yep. you, Vic? I like Anton. Uh, um, this week, though, you are going to focus your uh, attention on uh, a new member of the squad, right? I am indeed. She's big. She's bad. She's busty. She's it's Jem. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so these are her stats. Uh, age, unknown. Hometown, Tamworth. Position, all-round shit stirrer. Ball <laughs> possessions, her own. Mm -hmm. Dead. Uh, so tell us, how is she uh, settling in? Has she got the skills needed to be a top shit stirrer? Well, she's a mid-season sign in which can be tricky at times. OK. But she's already showing signs of being a top-class shit stirrer. Let's take a look at this action. OK. My name's Gemma Palmer and I'm a pro wrestler. My mission is to go into the house and shake things up big time. Did I mention? I'm Faye's sister. Oh my... Oh my That's God. my sister! <laughs> what, just fight each other, like? No, it's Faye, Faye's you know, more aggressive than me. Gemma I have not, to control myself because if I did it with Faye, I'd probably knock her out. Cool. She set her stools out early to show she's going to be a real crab pleaser. I mean, she's big up top and she takes shit from nobody. <laughs> you can already tell that some of the other lesser squad members are running in terror because she is that bad. And hopefully, if the two Palmer systems, sisters can work in tandem, yeah. then they could be an even lower budget version of the Neville brothers, <laughs> which we all want to see. <laughs> Um, do you think she can handle the pressure of a big game situation? <sighs> You're having a laugh, Emma Willis. I don't know, Of am course I? she can. She thrives under the pressure of high balls and elephants. You know? <laughs> Let's see how she deals with a tricky situation. Ooh. Jem, mm -hmm. you may choose one housemate to join you for your workout. Ooh. Jay? Yeah? Get your training gear on. I'm You're sure fucking kidding me? What? You mean serious? Yeah. What have you done? Are you being serious? Yes. Well, you can't help me lift the weights, can you? So, Jane's going for a training session with you? I'm yeah. just going to be the weight lifter. Oh, gee, gee. Yeah, but it's my oh, fault. Oh, whatever, bigger Jim. Yeah, OK. What? I could train you outside. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, absolutely stunning. When you see shit's doing of this magnitude, all you can do is stand up 
and applaud. <laughs> I mean, look at how Faye expects the cheeky through ball. But she's not having it, Gemma. Not at all. She looks up, does a little shimmy, then bang, lays off the sweetest through ball to Jay. <laughs> and the Geordie boy is more than happy to lap it up. <laughs> Boom. Genius shit stir in there. Look at Faye's face. She's not at all happy. But did Faye get up and carry on like a true pro? Or did she basically let the shit stir in affect her game? Let's see. Let's see. If she wasn't eating chocolate all the time and stuff, and she seemed like she was. Yeah, I can shit actually hear you. I'm not deaf. <laughs> oh, I could have said she was over I there. Didn't know she was there. <laughs> Jam, don't want to come and talk to me. I really don't want to talk to you. Yeah, Jam. but if you weren't eating chocolate, Jam, and stuff I don't want to talk to you. I, might, I can do a training. Well, no, session. okay, because I'm probably up for nomination this week, and then to top it off, you've then chosen someone else instead of well, me. Well, if you're up for nomination this week so and I you went, then you could go to a gym, can't no, you? Whatever. Do you know what I mean? Well, can, yeah, you can lift tins of beans, and that's heavy enough. I don't want to talk to you. No, I hate when they say up for nomination, it's up for eviction. Yes. Right? But Faye's head has clearly gone here. Jen knows it. She's all over the place. Shit stirring is clearly thicker than blood in this game. Mm. Uh, do any of the other squad members fear the big sis? Oh, yes. I mean, it's been squeaky bum time for Aaron. <laughs> Especially when Tom's are a hand, right? But this week, Jen's entered the house and he's shitting in his little panties. Have a look. Aaron, have you said what? hi to Mrs. No, Sia? Yeah. Hello. I'm pleased Hello, to meet you. You're very proper, so I'll give you a handshake. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I make such a bad first impression. No, you went up and said that. Your nana. A little bit, because I do like me. Yeah. So? No sisters in here, what difference is that, man? <laughs> wow, look at Jem. She can sense Aaron's fear and she's revelling in it. She can probably smell it a little bit too, as well. <laughs> <laughs> look so at the handshake here. You know, let's go back. This is weak play from Aaron. He's got nothing compared to Jem, and he knows it. That's not a man's handshake. Look at it. It's not, is it? Weak. So it, it looks like he's running scared, mm. but did he put up any kind of defence? In true Aaron form, no, he did not. <laughs> we all know the man's a coward. He runs the diary room normally, does his business, cries like a little girl. <laughs> and then comes out and plays the big man. He's got nothing in his shit-stirring locker, especially when he's facing a formidable opponent of Jen's stature. Watch this, Jem. Okay, so enjoying in here. Hmm. You're fine getting on. Hmm. You don't mind about that, do you? Well, I don't know you yet, do I? All right, OK. Don't bother being on your best behaviour, because I'll be able to see through it. No, don't, just be yourself. No, yeah, that, that is myself. Okay. Best behaviour. We have been a playboy for the house. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. Hmm. You kind of did the snogging. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Oh, Aaron, Aaron, what a cow. You know what? Speaking of shit, I always get the feeling when I see him that you know when you're taking a dump and then it hits the water and it splashes your bum? That yeah. feeling you get after of just, oh, every time I see Aaron, I get that feeling. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, bring it in, bring it in. Uh, Look at the way Jen shows great movement here, though. She's managed to box him off and he, he's got no way of getting past. It's far too easy for Jen. She can sense that this guy doesn't know what he's doing and she's got him running scared. Uh, so she's been in there for a week now. Mm. Has, she, has she proved herself to be a top player? No. Whoa. <laughs> well, no. Thanks for your opinion. This is my bit, darling, <laughs> all right? <laughs> you know what I mean? What I get paid to do? I'm joking. You're quite good looking. But yeah, <laughs> basically, she's pure class. I think there's more to come from Jem. She's got shit-stirring dominance all over the park. This girl's got it all. She can pass, she can move, she does one-twos, <laughs> and when the time is right, she finishes by putting it in the back of the net. Proper Lionel messy stuff, huh? Uh, give it up for Slick Vic, everybody. Come on, come on, what are these people at? Well, she ended up a bit mucky anyway. Uh, this is what happened when, in honour of Kim Woodburn, we sent Alice undercover to find out just how filthy that bungalow up the hill really is. My name's Alice Levine. I work undercover. 
After my award-winning documentary, The Bachelor, Is the Future Really Orange? I was turning my attention to the world of Big Brother. For the past three months, I lived two different lives. My aim? To expose a side of Big Brother that ordinary journalism couldn't reveal. We're going to get to the bottom of this. My protection, my cover story, and my secret camera. This time, I'm investigating the shit squalor known as the Big Brother house. Apparently, it's the dirtiest shite hole in the entire program's history. Time to find out just how filthy this place really is. My first port of call? A young lady called Daisy Sams. She works on the TAS team. Whatever the fuck that is. Thanks for meeting me, Daisy. Let's be quick about this, yeah? So, uh, you do the housemates' laundry? Yeah. Do they look familiar to you, Daisy? They're definitely a guy's. A blatant skid. What is the most putrid item you've actually uh, found? Uh, a lot of pants, mm. um, bloody pillows, Jay's bed sheets. Jay? Yeah. He's pure filth. Pure filth. Right, Daisy. You don't mind if I take exhibit A, do you? You don't need them for anything? I know what you're like. Okay. You didn't see me, all right? The laundrette lady was good, but I was much better. I was at a public house called the Heart and Spool, but I didn't need to be there. More answers were needed, and crucially, harder evidence. I spoke with Colin Smith, who wished to remain anonymous. Yeah. He told me exactly how it was. We can go through two or three bins a day. It is frightening. Time to get inside the house. This is going to be risky. I needed a disguise. Bingo. I thought we've got one. I've seen reporters die over less. Uh, just there to clean the house, so... All right. We're in the house. They fell for it. Simple. Now let's see what dirt we can find. I think we should go to the bathroom. We're going to get some fucking crucial evidence in there. I'm talking pubes and shit. Don't touch a thing. This is now a forensic scene. The honk in here is criminal. That looks stagnant to me. But there's only one way to find out. As I thought, shit hole. Let's go. The house was indeed fucking disgusting. I'd never seen anything like it. This is like a war zone. Now I at least knew why so much shit was leaving the studios on a daily basis. What kind of fucking potato is that? Did you hear something? This is a week's old. Filthy bastards. Just clean it. Just doing a bit of cleaning. That polyester to me. Must be Alex. Well, all the evidence points towards the fact that they have the means to clean. But can't be asked. So get out of here. I'm clean. I'm clean. I was just clean. I'd been evicted from the house. The bastards took me out. Go, go, go. But it didn't matter. I had all the evidence I needed. Fuck. Things got a little bit tasty. Shit happened. I wasn't going to hang around after that. <laughs> it had gotten very ugly. Time to hand over the evidence and flee the fucking country. Good work, Levine. Good work. My job was done. But what had I sacrificed? I was lost. Alone in the world. What had I uncovered? And more importantly, what had I become? <laughs> Only time would tell. Still, at least the house was fucking clean. It's in that there Mason net. <laughs> <laughs> Some exclusive footage for you now from this very evening. Uh, one of the boys is having a radical transformation. Ooh. 
That's not saying anything else, you know. Let's go to a barber's then. I can't fucking stay here with my. Come on, Jay's clippers ain't gripping my hair, and I've started a haircut. And to be honest with you, I'm literally on the verge of like crying my fucking eyes out. So depressing doing this. Because you have no idea how much I love my hair. Oh, fuck this. I'm, I'm leaving. Totally. No, I can't. No. Uh, so this week marks the halfway point for the housemates uh, with four more weeks until this year's ca uh, champ is crowned. What is in store for us watching? Uh, Kim, we're at the uh, halfway point, as mm -hmm. we've just said. Who has impressed you the most so far? Not many of them. Um, well, I, you know, I think a good all-rounder, I like Alex, and she's lovely. Yeah. 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 Do you know I just do? I mean, she doesn't crawl. She speaks her mind when she wants to. She's got more sense in her little finger than that lot have got in all their bodies. And she's that only is, that 18. Is worrying. She's only <laughs> 18. Uh, does any of them that haven't lived up to your expectations? Oh, good question. Um, I've been disappointed by Faye. Yeah. Actually, yeah. you know when she came in, remember that opening video? What she was going to yeah. do? She was the big fierce, yes, fierce alpha female. Yeah. And then it just doesn't happen. She's been a bit of a wet blanket. However, interestingly, when her sister came in, when Jem came in, it was like this was the person that she Tough described. Yeah. Yeah. This is what we expected from Faye. I don't People think people lie she's... through the teeth on the VTs to get yeah. in. No, that's what you it is. You wouldn't lie, Luke. Would well, you? I didn't lie. Obviously, no. I was, I was, I was the total epitome of a housemaid. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, Luke, Luke, <laughs> What about Big Brother? Has, uh, do you think, you, you've been in there, you've lived it. Um, has he been too soft? Oh, Emma, he's like a nugget. It's just, <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, we were served uh, uh, toffee in the green room that was harder than Big Brother. It's been ridiculously soft this year. I mean, we had it hard. I was physically starving. Like, my body's never recovered from my oh, years. Oh, it's it's true, it's not. <laughs> I'd say back in my day, exactly. No, um, seriously, it's been far too soft, Emma, far too they've soft. They've had beer and pizza tonight. Every night, even though, even though, even though they're on a hundred pound minimal budget, they've had beer and pizza. Seems yeah. a little bit unfair. Um, how should Big Brother re reassert its authority? Do we think? Bring in some exes. Huh? Bring in some exes into the house. Oh, yes. because, because what happened because, with Rex? Yeah. yeah. What happened with well, Rex? But the thing though. is, is that if you bring Aaron's ex, or well, don't know what kind of ex he's gonna, <laughs> what kind of ex is gonna come yeah. into the house, oh, but. Yeah, but we don't know that though. No, but it'll be good. But we don't know did. that. It'll be good if he did have a male. Well, ex. But he, apparently he's bi. Apparently he's bi. Speculation stop. coming up out of you guys. Apparently. They got, they got to start stamping their authority. I mean, yesterday's task, when they walked out the task, it was great that it crushed the wolf pack. They yeah. became the wolf yeah, pack. Definitely. But. Um, they but needed to be punished. To the rules, they needed to be they? punished. They're not sticking to the rules, and they need to be sorted out. Definitely. Bring a couple of grandmas in. Do you Bring know, a couple like, of grandmas yeah, in. Yeah. Get See kidding. Aaron's grandma in. <laughs> 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 What you need, you need, you need some glamour models. How would you, haven't we, <laughs> how would you mix it up, Alice? I just, yeah, I just think they've been too kind and it's, I think maybe break the couple up. They nef definitely need to do that because that's just too cushy. Divide the couple. Yeah. Boob uh, boobies, you know me, I just want more boobies, like the guy says. Uh, Bring in the boobies. Would you like to see some secret or double evictions? Oh, oh this, uh, Emma, this Friday, chuck, chuck three of the four out. Chuck them out. Uh, we want to see secret evictions, shock evictions, she just took them all out. It seems like the boys in the house are mixing it up the most. The housemates are doing most of the mixing up. Big they Brother needs to be a bit up. more tough mm -hmm. and sort of, yeah. you know, the boys like uh, Harry ordering all the bananas, that had a huge impact. They need to be mean like that, do something pretty evil. Yeah. Uh, Des, in terms of new housemates, do you think it was the right time to pop Jem in? And yeah. was it the right type of housemate to put in? I think it was, yeah. It was just about halfway through. And, um, oh, John, let, let, Des, let Des have his say. Exactly, yeah, exactly. No, Des. I'm wilting here. I feel really sad. Um, I, say, I said it was the right time. The crowd say no, so I'll instantly play to the crowd. It's a terrible time. <laughs> Wasn't it awful? Why? Why did they do that? An awful decision from Big Brother. Was it, it the right type of person? Yeah, well, I think it was. I think I agree with the chat about exes and people that are related in some way 
to some of the housemates in to yeah. mix it up. And I thought that Jen would go and maybe mix it up a bit more. I'd like to see more from her as well. But I think uh, it's good. Kim, what, would, you, would you like to see more people go in and would you like to see some over 30s going in? Yes. Well, do you know what? I'll tell you something. Anybody going in there that's over 30 with that stink and smell, it's not <laughs> fair, dear. But I'm going to say something about Gemma. You're going on about Gemma. She's offered nothing to that house. She's all gas and gators, yeah. dear. Yeah. Yeah. She does nothing. Yeah. And in fact, in fact, I think that Faye rules her sister. Yeah. To be fair, Did you see the card game? Oh, get your big fat hands as you sat back like that. Yeah. Uh, the two of them came with big talk, but I think I think Faye is the boss of those two. Jem has only been Jem has only been in there for a week, and but we are kind of nothing. seeing this big rivalry between and we need an Aaron and Anton all the time, and yeah. we I don't think we're seeing much of anyone else. Do we need an over thirty as well as Gemma though? Yes. I mean, oh, sorry, oh, Alex. Alex. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I, did, I got confused. I got confused. About four over thirties. Yeah. Uh, if I may speak for the over thirties. Um, uh, fair enough. Have ten eighteen to thirties. That's great. Club eighteen thirty. But putting four over thirties changes the dynamic of the house. Luxurious. What about? Absolutely. What about? Um, all we need is Victor. What about? All, all we need is Victor. What about the romance in the house? It's been quite heavy this year. Are we sick of it? Yes. 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 It's too much, man. It made me want to vomit. It was just nah. Just get away. Just don't put it on TV, please. Did you just say it makes you vomit? Yes. It makes. Too much. It makes. Her vomit. Um, too much. Kim, who do you think will win? I think the way it's going up to this present moment in time, Alex. Yeah. Alex. Yeah. Des, who do you think? Up to the halfway point, who do you think you can see it? At, at the halfway, it's, it's Alex. Yeah, she's the winner yeah. so far. Luke? Oh, give it to a dog charity or something, 100 grand. Don't let any of them win. <laughs> I, I just. I, I don't. Do any of them deserve £100,000? It's like Louise. She's very attractive. Do I want a porcelain doll to win Big Brother 12? <laughs> Probably not. I don't know, Emma. You um, can have it. Alice? Um. I, I was going to say Alex, and now I feel like I should say someone else. Uh, Don't worry, Tom. Tom. All the people on Tom. Twitter that think we're fixing it, the views are the panel's own. <laughs> they're, they're my own, they're my own. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, I, just, I really enjoy Alex and Tom together, though, so I hope they stay in until the end, because I really like, they're like a little comedy, yeah, yeah. like Grace. a confused yeah. comedy duo. Comedy yeah. Will and Grace. Yeah. Uh, right, before we uh, talk winners, there's five potential losers in the house. Uh, we put your questions to them today, and it is safe to say... It was just a little bit tense. Housemates, who do you think has the biggest game plan? Harry, I don't think. Um, is anyone in here bright enough to carry out a good game plan? So. What will you do with the money if you win? Uh, pay my mum's mortgage off. I'll cash it all out, go to the casino, put it all on red, double it up. Or buy loads of boxes of Frosted Flakes. Oh, no. I'm Bananas. To pay for Jay. <laughs> I donated to me friends. If you were a colour, what colour would you be? Red. Still blue? Red, like blood. Still blue? No, I red. Say. It's my favourite colour. Or beige. I'd be pink, because if you can pull off a pink t-shirt, you're now your DNRE. <laughs> um, apparently I'm beige, because I'm exciting. How do you think the outside world sees you? I'm going to think I'm a dickhead. Straight. I don't even know what they're seeing me, is just as long as I'm doing the Geordies Pro, I don't really care. Yeah, you want me. You know I mean? Take the opportunity to clarify you know the difference between a toilet and a freezer. What would you change in the house? Um, most of the people. I just want food, lots of. I'd be quite happy with thick sliced bread. If you could bring back any evicted housemate uh -huh. and swap them for an existing one, who would you swap? I'll swap Aaron for heaven. We need Mosey back, don't we? Yeah, Maisie. Mosey. Of course Aaron wouldn't forget Mosey, he's kissed her. Jay, protein shakes or Louise? Mm. Protein shakes are never dumped you. You, you want to be careful <laughs> what you say to me, protein shakes. We're both felt pressure, and yeah, so we're just leaving it until we get outside in any way, do you know what I mean? We don't even have to, like, carry something on to get the public vote, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. we, we, Chris <coughs> we banged on about paid holidays and magazine deals. <coughs> yeah, sorry. Faye, yeah. who's the better wrestler, you or Jem? Ooh. Ooh. Jem? Gemma, because she's got more experience. I prefer to wrestle you. Anton, what is your actual IQ? My IQ is around 162, I think I remember. Common sense doesn't factor into that, obviously. I really need to wipe your mouth because the shit is... <laughs> yeah. Ding, ding, move along the bus, please. <laughs> <laughs> Broadcast from Boris.
Wormwood since, well, Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side. Here's today's news. At 11am, Anton awoke and he was feeling the power. If the two companies go, then the wolf pack control this house. Because we'll, we outnumber everyone else. If me, Jay and Ads, whoever, whoever us three decide to nominate next week, if we still stay up, they're up, those two people. Because we'll all copy each other. So we choose next week who goes up. If we wanted to, we could just nominate any, we could nominate Alex and Tom and they're both up next week, all three of us. We wouldn't do that, but that's how powerful we are. <laughs> but will the wolf pack uh, still be as strong after tomorrow night's eviction? On to 12.40pm and the housemates thought they had a hit on their hands. Then we're to the reboot. Good, 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 I think One Direction will be able to sleep easy tonight somehow. Um, at 2.30pm, Aden got into a spin over tonight's dinner. For today's task, housemates will be playing a game of Reveal the Meal, where they will be given the opportunity to win their dinner for this evening. <gasps> spin that wheel, Aaron! Oh, yeah! Oh! Ah! You should yeah. now remove your class and open the envelope to reveal the meal. I've got a feeling it's going to be a club banger. What is it? Frosty yeah. Bacon! Yeah. 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 How would you like to swap whatever's under your class for a phone call with Rebecca? Ooh. That's because of you. Uh, oh. I may want to speak to her, but you know what? I already said to her, the next time I see her is when our relationship starts. Therefore, I'm going to stay and play. Sorry, Congratulations, Adan. You have won your housemates. <laughs> Pizza and beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who would have ever thought a den turning down a phone call from Rebecca for a quattro fromaggio? Unbelievable. <laughs> At 5.18pm, Anton had a tale to tell that shocked the housemates. I used to regularly go out with my girlfriend, that, that, that girlfriend sometimes, and like kiss other girls in the club. <gasps> she never knew it. You bastard. Yeah, I was. Uh, Absolute bastard. I remember once when I went out, I told this story as well, when I went out with my girlfriend, when an argument in the club, I saw this girl walk past. Oh, phenomenal. So I went to speak to her, speak to her for a bit. And as this girl spoke, I thought of a great idea. Even though the club wasn't allowed, I said, Oh, I can't even hear what you're saying. It's so loud in here. Let's go outside. I started kissing her outside on the street. This girl goes, Where are you going to go now? And I thought, Hmm, what's her mind? We went on for like two hours, smashed her to bits. Uh, the fact that you laughed about it as well, like, mm. like you just showed no remorse or something. No, and that's, that's the thing, I showed no remorse. That's the thing, and the thing is, I, I did it all the time. All the time. Yeah, man, I do it all the time. If you want drama, Anton's your man. Uh, so, today, that's today's news. But he'll be making the headlines next week. Here are the hum uh, numbers you need to save your fave. Who steers you? Decide to see if Aaron called 0901616171 or 1. To see if Arden called 0901616171 or 2. To see if Anton called 0901616171 or 4. To see if Fear called 0901616171 or 5. To see if Jeer call 0901616171 or 8. Calls cost 36p from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may vary and from mobiles will cost considerably more. Or simply go to our page on Facebook, Big Brother UK, and follow the links. There's a minimum Facebook credit purchase of £1. One vote on Facebook will cost no more than 7p. For full terms, go to channel5.com slash bbvote. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. 
So one of them will be unceremoniously dumped from the house tomorrow night. But what kind of exit can they expect? Alice is with live producer Jamie Sutcliffe to find out. Alice, are you there? I am. It's Jamie Sutcliffe. Hello. We're going to have a proper actual jingle there. I won't just do that every time. Um, how's the love life going, Jamie? Oh, it's just erratic. Poor yeah, soul. I know. Poor soul. Moving on. Okay. Thank you. Uh, a whopping five housemates up for eviction this week. Does that make your job harder slash impossible? No, not possible. It's not really that harder. Um, we've just got to plan and prep for everybody as we normally do, but half the house... Times we've, five. <laughs> yeah, we've got a bit more work, but not a huge amount. No, so it's all sorted. You're always laid back. You're always laid Where back. Where are cracks um, in Last week was a bit disappointing that Maisie didn't tumble. There were no falls. Thank God. Uh, um, have you put anything in place so maybe tomorrow something might... I mean, I saw just loads of empty baby oil bottles. You want her to slip? I, d I, d I don't mean, I don't want to get, to, I don't want maimed, I just want a comedy fall. No, we, we want them to come out that door happy in one piece. We <laughs> okay. don't want another slip, although the heaven slip Boring. was brilliant. And all the legs through the bar, fantastic. I know. amazing. Um, now the crowds, as you know, intimately, have been very hostile. Yes, yeah. Uh, do you think that that's going to change tomorrow? No, because there's five up tomorrow. There's more. They're going to be a gunning for everybody. But it is a pantomime. I know everyone says it is, but it really is. Does everybody just boo? Is it like 100% booing? Yeah. Or... Well, it is... Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> it is when they come out, but before they are out and they see things on the screen, they cheer, they are chanting things. It's kind of pantomime, but once a boo starts, it's a ripple. They all start booing. Ripple effect. Ripple, ripple effect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's the scientific terminology. Um, lots of music to think about yes. this week. Yeah. Walkout music. Yeah. Have you had any ideas? Lots of ideas, the normal mix, you know, I like my five horse race. <laughs> you do? I've got a bit of urban in there again. He loves a dash of urban. If I can say one thing about Jamie Sutcliffe, it's urban. Urban. And there's a good new track by Kesha called Shit Stirrer. Oh, fabulous. It was, almost, it was almost like it was made for Victor. Yes, brilliant track, literally. It was sort of ahead of his time. I've got yeah. some suggestions for you. Okay. Eden, Tears of a Clown by Smokey Robinson. Yep. See what we did there? Quite nice. Yeah? You could go no, you're not liking it. No. Jay, Muscles by a Diana Ross. See, I've never heard A favourite of yours? Love a bit of Diana Ross. You can Ross. tell. Yeah, you can tell by that blank face. Absolute favourite. Um, now, we're halfway through the series. Yeah. High five for that. Halfway no, it's week. not called a high five. Um, what's been your favourite eviction so far? Heaven, because of the fall. Because and, of the fall. I know it's horrible, but it was everyone out here and everyone at home would, would have gone, <gasps> she's not coming out of the house. I liked Rebecca because fun. of the aftermath. She left quite a good wake of destruction, yes. yeah. didn't she? I mean, they're all brilliant in lots of different ways, particularly when the housemates go, we don't want her to leave, or we're thrilled he's left, etc. Et but tomorrow's going to be brilliant, five up. It is going to be amazing. Exciting. I'm going to be watching. I'm actually going to be here, so I can't watch it. Nine o'clock, we can't wait. And Brian is watching tonight. And Hello, Brian. Hi, Brian. Back to you, Emma. Oh, thanks. Hi, Brian. Uh, Joe. Yes. Have we had any online reaction to um, the VT where we saw the housemates answering... The questions that the viewers sent in. Yeah, yeah, there's been a bit of kind of controversy over a couple of the things. Uh, the word freezer, hashtag, has been banded around <laughs> okay. quite liberally. Um, the sounds of freezers are rocketing as we speak, <laughs> uh, okay. probably. Um, and uh, people loving a bit of Aaron over it, a bit of clout on his put down on uh, uh, to Jay. Oh, about, about the, shakes, um, yeah. about the uh, protein shakes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you've got a clip for us, haven't you? Yes, do you want okay. to see a, a pretty girl farting like a sailor? Oh, let's. Oh, here we go. We're going to have to save that for another time. <laughs> Not it working. Let me have a look. Oh, so basically, Louise does a really big, loud fart, doesn't she? Oh, goes, yeah, there, there we go. There we go. Oh my god! Louise, had to ha why is that out loud? <laughs> Joe. It was worth it. I can't wasn't quite it? believe it. Was it. Worth it. That was a very, very loud one. Uh, Joe, thank you very much. Uh, that's all we've got time for today. Tune in tomorrow for our big eviction spectacular when Alice is going to be taking over for the night. But who will be joining her? Anton, Aden, Aaron, Jay, or Faye? It's very exciting. Keep me informed. Have a fabulous night. <laughs>